We've seen the commercials, we've heard the promotion, and we've certainly watched the matches. Now, Wendy's TV takes you behind the scenes at Kensington Oval. It's we versus them, West Indies versus England, and we are at Kensington Oval. In this edition, we'll take you on a tour at Kensington Oval to see what goes into making this series happen from a production perspective. We'll talk to one of the most famous fans in West Indies cricket who was behind the scenes at the Oval and also take a trip into the party stand to see some of the treats and much, much more. It's we versus them and we're behind the scenes. Television is one of the most important aspects of international cricket. Ten Sports is the company responsible for the TV production. The work you see going into the output doesn't start overnight. The crew start working from early, days before the action. Soon they go from running cables across the ground to setting up ten cameras and then we're into the CPU. Yeah, underneath the Copping Cozy Media Center, it's the central processing unit of the coverage. This is what it looks like, and this is what it takes to make sure you see action like this. Talk about working under pressure. Exactly what does the role of the director entail? The key job from my point of view is, is obviously capturing everything that happens on, on the field and not missing anything that's important, but also uh, trying to capture the excitement in the crowd and the atmosphere that builds up and you know important moments of the game like you know the final over and things like that have to be spot on and you you know get all the tension on the pitch but also the sort of carnival atmosphere in the crowd. There are 10 cameras that are operated by people so we've got uh, 10 round the ground then we've also got a few uh, static cameras like the stumps and a few beauty shots around the ground. When someone hits a six the crowd go nuts and the players all get excited and it makes it a lot easier to direct than when the play is actually quite slow because then you're you're looking for exciting things to happen whereas if someone's smashing the ball around the ground or someone's on a hat trick it's actually quite easy to direct so actually i love it when the when the cricket's close and the ball's flying out the ground it's it's actually almost easier to direct how difficult is it to get the song to put together uh to, to match what you have on screen and then get the commentators to perhaps say what you're showing the sound is hard it's um You've got, also, you've got so many things involved. You've got the, the stump microphones, which pick up everything that goes on in the middle, and then we've got effects microphones all around the ground. Um, and then we've also got the commentator's mics, and the sound, our sound guy has to mix them all together um, so you get the best atmosphere you possibly can. From the TV to the other media side, can't see it on film, you're most likely listening on your radio, your iPod, your iPad, or whatever device. The radio commentators have the best view, as so they should. After all, they're telling it like it is. Go for eight, it's an excellent pitch, we've just moved along. One pitch. On the ground, and when I say on the ground, I literally mean it. Photographers are taking their pictures and uploading them straight away. Delmar Samuels and Anthony Nelson took a minute from the lens and the radio to speak to Wendy's TV about their role. Delmar, first of all, congratulations. This is your 34th year as a photographer shooting West Indies cricket. Thank you very much. Yes, 34th year. How do you feel about uh, T20, we versus them and the big series? Great, 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 great. It's the best thing happened to cricket since the one day international come into cricket. It's fantastic. Um, of course, the atmosphere is very family-like. And it's good that many Barbadians can come out and afford to watch such classic cricket. It's really good to see Smith and Gale at the top. Samuel's doing extremely well. And we always like to beat England. And we like to beat them in our own backyard. And I think this is great. <laughs> you look around Kensington and Oval and you recognize the advertising, the signage boards. It takes a lot to dress this mecca. And we talk to the man responsible for that. Damien Brittle is responsible for, well, let's say, decorating cricket grounds for the West Indies Cricket Board. Tell me about what goes into getting the boundary board set up, getting these guys to be on time to, to, in terms of uh, getting the, the, the props done correctly. Mm. Well, it's a, it's a lot of work. Um, it comprises of like over a week, a week work. What we do is like vinyl banners and we put the banners together and then we apply the banners onto the board. We have a schematic that we work with in order to have the sponsors 
in position. It's a lot of work, but as you can see, it, it's always completed. What is it like working at Kensington Oval, one of the better cricketing venues in, in the region and perhaps the world? The good thing about Kensington Oval is that it's player friendly because the boundary is so close. It's, it's, it's so close to the players. We we. With this venue, we actually get just the recommended 10 feet away from the boundary, the ICC specs, you know, and, 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 and that's, that's, it's so close and, and so good venue, good venue to work in. What's the most challenging part about your job? Um, getting everything ready on time, getting everything ready on time, that's the most challenging part because everything happens so quick and so much are changes. Changes comes along, you know, and then you just need to work with it and go with it. Beyond the perimeter, you get the fans and they don't get bigger than Peter Matthews. He's been around West Indies cricket for over two and a half decades. It's from this vantage point in the party stand that he has his view. Be ready for South Africa. Be ready for South yeah. Africa, let's say, but we have to take care of the World Cup first. World Cup, we take that yeah, down. That, 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 that already by, yeah. don't worry that part. <laughs> when you look at the we versus them, do you think it's been yeah, a good series? Good yeah, yeah. Nice cut, a nice series, a nice uh, presentation of the art, uh, the artwork, the we versus them thing. See ya, like that. Okay. Listen, this is the start of the World Cup, right? Yep. We want to win here 3-0 and let the guys go to, to the World Cup with full of confidence. Yeah. I think we're going to take care of Australia, Pakistan, and anybody that's coming our way. Right now, the trophies are ours. We just want to make sure we handle it properly. There's so much to do in the party stand beyond just having a drink, rocking on the boat, and having a grand time. What would a party be without pictures? Enter Anika Power and her photo booth. Explain to me what happens here at Cricket. Behind the scenes, look at the photo booth. Well, we have the WOW photo booth rental where you could come in, take your crazy moment of a picture for 22 seconds and you can get your little momentum to say you were here at the Power by 4 Cricket Party Blast. It's been an interesting view behind the scenes at Kensington and Oval. The West Indies won the We vs. Them series 2-1, making the production and all of the things that went behind it well worth it. I'm Barry Wilkinson, hope you enjoyed.